Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Lozo. We're here with my Terriamon Green Hybrid deck profile. Uh, this deck is super awesome, super insane. Uh, won me many games in EX2 um, when I wasn't playing D Reaper. Uh, I would love to play this deck going forward, but I think in BT9 Grand Kawagamon just a bit too good. But uh, let's get into the card by card, shall we? All right, let's start off with the eggs because that's a pretty good spot to begin. We've got these beautiful Gummy Mon alts. Uh, Gummy Mon's fantastic, absolute smashing addition to green. It allows you to get free draws and green really did kind of need an egg that gave us free draws. Uh, this is definitely it. This egg is good in just general green decks. So moving forward, this is probably going to be a green staple outside of Grand Kawagamon, of course. But yeah, in like Terrymon decks, obviously you want to play this. And I'm a big Terrymon fan, so I'll have Terrymon list coming up later that run that bad boy. So I opted for the Minomon because it lets your Rapidmon get up to 7k. Uh, and if you've got the good Terrymon under it, you can even go up to 9k potentially. And if you've got Calamon out, well, your Rapidmon can actually go up to crazy things, like something like 12 to 13k. And the main reason is when Rapidmon's at 7k and you neg a Mega that's 12k down 5k, you can now crash with it thanks to Minomon. So super good egg for like trading with Blackwall Greymon and stuff like that. There's a couple other Megas it's good for, but that's the main one that comes to mind. But yeah, normally you just want to see the Gummy Mon anyway, but that's how fit the eggs are. I think in green, it's really important to play five eggs because of Mimi and stuff. Once again, outside of Grand Kawagamon, but hey, we'll get to that deck another day. Can you tell I'm excited to play Grand Kawagamon? <laughs> All right, starting us off, we've got the four Terriamons, the one that blocks memory gaining. This card is beautiful. This card's fantastic. It's really good in set nine, uh, unlike the rest of this deck, <laughs> but uh, yeah. This card's obviously very good. You gotta play it. It is Terriamon Green Hybrid, so we've gotta play all the Terriamons we can. Now, these are the typical eight that you'll play, and you'll notice this list is very heavily based on Russell's list, who topped with Green Hybrid on that online tournament with Mulligan. Our locals was playing no Mulligan for a while just because one of our tournaments coming up had no Mulligan, so we we're kind of prepping for that. So instead of just playing the eight Terriamons, I went for 12. Though I would say this is the one I didn't want to see a lot of the time because while hard playing and looking for Rapidmon can be nice, I typically was shuffling a lot of the hybrids to the bottom of the deck then, which isn't really ideal. So yeah, definitely just a no mulligan kind of thing. I had to run this Terrymon, but if you have mulligan, uh, you should be fine just playing these eight and that means you have more room for uh, other techs and stuff down the line. I had to remove a lot of the cool techs and stuff and you'll notice that later on in the profile. But yeah, 12 Terriamons because we want Rapidmon to be cheap. Yeah, this was just the other way to search Rapidmon or the only way to search Rapidmon. But um, you definitely could not play it with uh, Mulligan and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm a big fan of Terriamon, so you'll catch me making Terriamon profiles in future anyway. So get keen. Let's go through the white cards real quick. We've got the triple Boko and the double Calamon. Calamon, I thought was trash at first, but yeah, I was wrong. It's actually very, very good. Uh, I can make you do some crazy, crazy memory plays, uh, especially if you have Boko out. Like these two together can be a menace. Even just double Calamon could be a menace because all you need to do is have a Terramon out and you play both Calamons for one. Uh, that was my biggest issue with Calamon, the fact that you need Terramon for him to be good. So maybe another reason to play more Terramons, uh, really. But yeah, this card's actually very good. Boosting Rapidmon 3K and whatnot, giving you just higher thresholds to hit extra draws extra memory well it kind of just pays for itself memory wise but you get the extra draws in the dp so very useful for beating black x antibody stacks those stacks get very big and i found this format uh even their biggest stacks um after the turn where they can be reduced of course i was able to actually beat into them thanks to calamon thanks to rapidmon and sometimes a green hybrid as well uh, like the Rhino Kabuteri. So yeah, Calamon's super good for just hitting DP thresholds that green normally can't hit. Um, but yeah, Pokemon's obviously Pokemon. Very good. Very good when you're bricked kind of thing. All right, let's talk about the level fours. The level fours are kind of the stars of this deck um, and everything else is just supporting it. So of course, Rapidmon. Absolutely insane. Cards should not exist, but um, it's the only good card in the Terriamon archetype. So you'll notice I'll make uh, Terrymon decks in future and they'll be very based around this card because the high end of Terrymon doesn't do a lot, let's be real, compared to this. So yeah, you need to see this card to win, I've always said. Um, I play four, Russell's list play three, I play four because I do just think it's that freaking good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't see myself ever playing less than four of this. 
unless the ban list says otherwise, right? <laughs> All right, now as you expect in a green hybrid profile, we are gonna have our four of the beetle because he's very good and searchy and four of the one who taps because, you know, he's good too. Everyone still confuses these cards because they look the exact same and that's very fair. Of course, we're playing the level five as well. That is just the same thing in the line. Of course, this guy lets us warp and what we wanna do with him is warp into our level sixes, which we will get to in just one second. I'll put out our other two level fives. I'm just going with the double cherry mon because it is a blocker. Uh, it might seem a bit silly, but 7K blocker means Peyodramon won't shuffle it. And it does mean you can kind of play uh, a little bit riskier, if that makes sense. Like leaving your Terrymon in raising is normally what you wanna do unless you've got Mimi out. Um, because you always want rapid mon pressure. You always want to be able to bring that rapid mon up and or terry mon up and go rapid mon and just wipe their field kind of thing and make trades. So sometimes just building this on board was the play. And um, yeah, two two to evolve blocker seven k. Very good card actually. Very good card. Good for surviving after the big imperial play too. So you wait for the imperial players to make their dragon mode play and pay Eldramon play. Uh, then you promote rapid mon. And, oh, Terrymon, sorry, use Rapidmon to kill off all the the XVmon and St Stingmons and whatever they've spat out. Uh, and then you can hopefully build into Cherrymon. Hopefully not on this, but sometimes you'll have to, just so you got that blocker so you just don't die next turn. Um, but yeah, sometimes uh, it's better to play the blocker Kabu Terrymon. I kind of ran out of room, but you can definitely play that. Yeah, let's move on to the level sixes now, just because, you know, they kind of tie into what we got here. So I'm playing two of the Ancient Beetle because H and Beetle super good to warp into off this. If you can get a piercing check and the trash, the top card of the security, absolutely insane. It makes people reread all this, these cards because they're like, what, this is crazy. Um, people kind of forget green hybrid is actually pretty good. It's weird that it's not more meta, but yeah, I don't know. Then we've got Shiva Mon, two of them as well. I was playing the Argo Mon that stops Tamers, but now that blue hybrid and yellow hybrid are being hit, I don't see a reason to play that card moving forward. I mean, I'm not necessarily going to play this list much moving forward, but there's definitely changes you would make for BT9. And one of them was me taking out that Argomon. So I think double Shiva is much better. Um, Shiva is really insane in this list because you can turbo into it for three off the Rhino and like get a piercing check and then it's tapped for the next turn. So your opponent can't use options and you get the unsuspend trash, which is super good. It's ironic that Shiva Mon's better in a deck not built for Shiva Mon. <laughs> Uh, it's just the sad fate of Shiva Mon, unfortunately. It's more of a tech kind of mega than a uh, actual deck to build around. Uh, I kind of feel the same with Beetle. Beetle's great, but he's still just so bad if the opponent doesn't commit anything to the field, which is a lot of Green's problem. So um, Shiva's a little better when your opponent's being passive and just building stack, which is like BT9 stuff. So maybe Shiva will be better to go up. Uh, but I really like the 2-2. Two -two. Because Beetle's better if you need to actually make a reaction play. Shiva's better if your opponent's kind of just doing nothing or just, you know, jacking off in raising area. And uh, yeah, all these guys are just really good. You got to play pretty much all this. I don't see anyone playing this at any less than four. And then your Megas are kind of your own choices and your other level fives are your own choices too. Uh, I went for one Samara Santi. Uh, this card is good, but I have problems with this card. I don't know about you, but... When I found out the ruling where, well, it's just by reading the card, really. Your opponent's card suspended with this effect can't unsuspend. That only applies if you are the one suspending it. So it's not like the Mega Gargamons from previous uh, sets uh, where they if they tap a card and then it doesn't, unsus it doesn't unsuspend, even if they didn't tap it. But this one has to be the reason the card's getting tapped to prevent it from being untapped. So... While one cost tap something can be good, sometimes you just don't have a body on field to tap as well, or like you need that body to swing. And I just found sometimes this card isn't quite as good as people make it out to be. Maybe I'm wrong. I should probably be playing two anyway, but I just went with one. Um, green has really no pressure in security. And I was like, well, this is my only card, but it's fine. We have a bunch of tamers and we've got the green memory boost. Um, this card, good. Uh, you could play more, but I, I found the one was fine. It's just like a nice filler card. Now we move on to Tamers, JP at four. I think you've got to play JP at four. This card's nuts. Like, man says Digivolve for one and everyone tries to put you to one so you can't hybrid them for the game. And then you just Digivolve on this. You're like hybrid for one, hybrid for game. And they're like, oh man, like I was trying to play around that, but JP exists. So super good going into a hybrid for one memory. Absolutely insane green shenanigans, you know? Uh, double Mimi. Moving forward, it might be better to bump this up. And the reason for that is... 
Uh, this next tamer I'm playing, the Izzy Mimi, is not going to be as good in BT9, I'm feeling, mainly because it says, uh, you know, when your opponent has a suspended Digimon, you get to gain two memory. Now, the problem with that is BT9, people are going to be building in their raising area a lot, not really promoting, not really swinging until it's all for one go. So I think this card actually falls off in value a lot, but for EX2 and BT8, this card was sensational. Uh, there's a lot of aggro decks and a lot of people just swinging all the time. Great way to just get some free memory or pressure the opponent to not hit you. So either way, it was just kind of good. And sometimes you use the effect of turbo into a level 6, which is absolutely ridiculous when it hits. Because you do it for free, which is uh, quite insane. So yeah, maybe moving forward, bump up your memes and maybe play the 2-drop Izzy instead of this. But the 2-drop Izzy is uh, it's pretty good with Rapid Mom, but not really anything else. It might just be the play, because I feel like this card might be dead moving forward. I thought this card was shit, started playing it, found out it was actually really good. And unfortunately, <laughs> before I know it, it's BT9, and this card will probably not be that great anymore. That is the list, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun playing this deck, and I do think it's the best way to play Terriamon moving forward. Maybe in future we'll get some better Terriamon support. I will try and make vanilla Terriamon decks too, but um, yeah, this is definitely the way to do it for now. Rapidmon is super oppressive, and the Mega Lion and the Hybrid are just super good for cheesing game away. So yeah, big props to all the green hybrid players, and yeah. Hope you like my profile and let me know what you think down in the comments. Alright, see ya.